Welcome to this Studio 90 news update from the Home Depot Center in Carson, California, where the men's national team has been training for more than two weeks in preparation for their first match of 2009 against Sweden. The training camp roster is now complete after the addition of Michael Parkhurst, who returned from Denmark and began training with the team earlier this week. Competition is fierce to make the 18-man game day roster, which will be announced on Saturday. Making the game day roster is an important first step for many of these players who are seeking to make a good first impression on their coaching staffs. A quick look at the rosters reveals that more than 15 players from both Sweden and the United States will be seeking to make their first international appearance. Now two players who know something about first impressions are U.S. defender Jonathan Bornstein and forward Kenny Cooper. Together they made history when on January 20th, 2007, they both scored in their first games for the national team, a 3-1 victory against Denmark. And for both Cooper and Bornstein, making that important first step was a huge confidence builder. It had been my dream since I was a young kid to represent my country and to play for our national team. And so when I got the opportunity, you know, I just wanted to go out there and experience it and try to play soccer how I knew and how I'd grown up playing. It was very exciting and uh, such an honor to uh, be able to be in the squad for that game and, and, and to have the opportunity to, uh, to come into the game was, uh, is, uh, is such a thrill, really. I have a lot of memories of just the whole experience and the whole camp and uh, everything leading up to it and <clears throat> all the hard work that we had put in. and. Um, it was nice to win that game after, uh, you know, working so hard as a team for uh, about a month. I was extremely nervous for my first national team game. Um, the night before, I remember, you know, having a really hard time going to sleep. And then, you know, finally when I did get to sleep, it was already time for the game in the morning. And we are underway from the Home Depot Center. Justin Matt made this amazing run. Him being the left halfback, he found himself all the way on the right side of the field. And then, you know, me being the left fullback, I was in the, in the six-yard box when he crossed the ball. And somehow, you know, I got a goal and my first cap with the national team. From what I remember, uh, Heath Pierce um, had the ball in the back and uh, played me a great ball uh, and put me through. Um, and uh, fortunately, uh, uh, that's one I want the keeper and uh, was able to put it in. It was big in terms of knowing what it was going to be like from then on out. Even though it was a friendly, you know, there's still bigger games that you can experience with the national team. It still gave me a sense of what it would take to compete at the national level. And in terms of confidence, it, it definitely raised my confidence. Well, that's it for this edition of the Studio 90 News Update. You can watch the U.S. take on Sweden on Saturday, January 24th at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Time, live on Fox Soccer Channel and Galavision. For a list of the growing number of official U.S. soccer bars where you can catch the action, log on to ussoccer.com.